Swedish people. They're just so cool. Hey there, Nameless Ghouls. It's Lauren here, and I'm back with more ghosts today. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Tobias Force. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's an inside joke. I also have my ghost mug, so it's time to get ghosted. So this is not a ghost song. I hate to break it to you, but this is a video that I keep seeing on my homepage. It just keeps showing up. This is Tobias Forge being an absolute dad for four minutes. I am so ready. I hope you're ready. So I don't know if this counts as being ghosted, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Let's get ghosted. It feels like there's like enough people out there to sort of like, mm, oh yeah, I like what you do. Whereas Cerise, I still have like the, the first recording of that which is me i'm just swinging my, my son or my daughter in 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 a playground and then yeah i just hear did, 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 did. no that's the uh that's the rats uh, how is it do 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 i couldn't stop seeing films with the microphone coming down you know, in this, in, in, within frame. Nowadays, kids, you might not notice that anymore because they have magically erased That's those. But back in the, in spe especially a lot of films in the 70s had, uh, you see a little black thing just coming up in, on the top of the screen. And that's usually the microphone. And then you can sometimes see the actors like <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> is the Pope secretly taking advice from Papa on how to be a good leader? Yeah, actually he does, but I'm, uh, we're not supposed to tell you. Um, we got paid a lot of money not to tell you, so I, I won't. Yeah, I'm sorry about the first recommendation. That that's uh, I mean, you could you could listen to it because it's in Swedish, but you shouldn't Google it. Tomte kukikvall. It's very inappropriate. I I, I just. It just dawned on me that you guys are kids and you shouldn't you shouldn't look but you know if you ever learn Swedish it could be very fun if you're slightly older that's like okay that's that's one idea bump and then I forget it purely um, practical mm -hmm. not a not not necessarily aesthetic aesthetical aesthetic so you had one a little dumber sort of guitar player on one hand, he came up with a... But then you had the smarter guitar player next to him who like... As when, you, when you're a father, you get to sort of do Christmassy things in a way that you sort of didn't when you were 25, maybe. When I join your band, can I wear my glasses over my mask? Yeah, sure. Obviously. I mean, you need to see something, Obviously. right? Obviously. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be the cutest one in the band. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up, because if you manage to nail 80% of yours, and most people did 80, 90, 95, like, the sum of the whole show was still, like, great, right? Yeah. But right. just because you missed your guitar solo or uh, or the the follow spot guy sort of did a little bit of a search or, or something like that. Shit happens. Likewise. Enjoy your award, seriously. I will. You deserve if, it. I, if I could chop it up in into how many, ever, however many pieces, I would chop it up and just give it to, to our lovely fans. That's amazing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's a funny riff. I started playing guitar when I was six or seven. Uh, before that, I um, I played the broom. <laughs> you played the broom? <laughs> I am very much a cat person. I understand, I think, cats. I'm a little bit antsy about really warm things. I don't like, I easily burn. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No problem. Um, I just got a coffee here. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, wow. That'll. Thank and uh, you are our pick for the metal artist of the 2010s. So we mm -hmm. would love, yeah. What is it with Swedish people? They're just so cool. Shout out to Sweden. Just shout out to Sweden as a whole. Let me know below if you are Swedish and just you're extra cool. Shout out to you. So he wears 
the nameless ghoul costume? How does that work? I'm confused by that. How does that work? <laughs> Say it again. This is my second video now seeing him in an interview kind of setting. Actually third. I did an unforgettable moments video. He's so different than what you would expect when you see him in his garb. You would not really expect him to be kind of like a regular guy. He just seems like a regular guy, you know, which is an awesome trait to have because I think, you know, with some people, once they get famous, they sort of have this like air about them. But he seems just like a regular guy. It just adds to their overall coolness, I think. The fact that he is like this. Let me know how you feel about this man. Are you as impressed as I am? Because I'm very impressed. Especially when I found out that this was like a solo venture. Because I always just figured it was a whole band. And uh, you guys told me that he sort of does everything. He writes the lyrics, the music, sings, back up, you know, plays it, whatever. <laughs> whatever he plays. Um, that's just very impressive to me. Continuing my ghost journey, loving my ghost journey. I'm going to do another ghost video right now, I think, for Halloween month. We're going to do some ghosts for Halloween month. Nameless schools, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you for the next one. As opposed to being just, like, really serious. I don't, I mean, just not, I mean, their music is not, I mean, their music is kind of, um, you know, fun. I don't know why I would expect him to be serious. I don't know why I said that. I'll put it in the blooper reel. <laughs>